After we finish that attack, I just got a challenge complete called Firefighter. Destroy 5,000 Inferno Towers in multiplayer battles and a thousand gems. Hey guys, it's Jimmy here and welcome back to another Clash of Clans video. Super excited about today, because today we're doing a massive spending spree with all loot we've generated by using this new Super Zap Dragon attack strategy that I made recently. I want to showcase it here today, but first, let's do a spending spree. Okay, I had a problem. I completely forgot to click record in OBS, so I actually didn't get the face cam nor audio for the spending spree. Thankfully, I was able to record a B-roll of the actual spending spree for you guys, so I could talk about what we upgraded and showcase it by video. So, let's Talk about what we upgraded first thing we did with all the elixir we had was upgrade walls because you guys don't know i have my warden maxed out and i'm actually upgrading the log laundry in the research laboratory currently so i could spend it all on walls which was taken care of which was good value so that's sick next thing we did was upgrade our archer queen from 77 to 78 and finish it up with a book of heroes so that way we can showcase the dragon attack strategy with her which is cool next thing we did and final thing we did with the spending spree was upgraded cannon. You guys don't know, just need to max out cannons, traps, and walls. Then I'll have a max tunnel 14, which I plan to do a video on that, so get subscribed. So we upgraded a cannon, and of course the price is cut for the winter update, so we still have 10 million gold left over. Just no builders, unfortunately. But you know what? At the end of the day, we still got a good spending spree done. So what I want to do with you guys now is showcase the super zap dragon attack strategy with you guys right now. So let's jump right into it. Okay, let's jump in attack now with this super zap dragon attack strategy. I'm super excited to show this attack strategy to you guys. Of course, this attack strategy will be linked down below. And this attack strategy can easily destroy town hall 12s, town hall 13s, if done right, and town hall 14s. Mostly it's going to get two star, above 70%, and sometimes even three stars, if done right, of course. What kind of bases we want to look for is, of course, the grouped up bases because of the roast ability of the dragons, the splash, which the splash is really strong. You'll see here. So first thing I want to do is pick a side of my attack gun. I'm actually going to attack from the actual top side here. But what I want to do first is actually zap the light sweeper over here. So zap the light. I don't know when he said that. Zap the sweeper, of course. And then I want to, on top of that, do a, another few lightnings on the other air defenses. Now, this guy does have two air defenses upgrading, so that's six. So we're going to take advantage of that and drop three there. They'll take one air defense, take another one out, which is awesome. And then we can save the rest of our lightnings just in case we want to use it to pop a uh, Inferno, Expo, or really anything. We can get the value out of that. Next, we're going to funnel with the dragons, of course. So we're going to drag one dragon there, one dragon over here. And that way they can kind of do their thing and just chill. And then we can actually drop in one of our super dragons to clean up in the center. That way it pops all those resource collectors and also that builder hut. That way it doesn't have to heal up everything. We don't have to deal with that because that's a pain. Builder Huts are still really strong. They, I think the damage is more strong than the actual healing at times. So, what's your guys' thoughts on that? Let me know in the comments. For right now, though, our attack strategy is going really good. Our dragon is cleaning up. So, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to switch to the Stone Slammer and drop in the rest of our dragons. We're going to widespread it, of course. That way, they can rotate in. And now, what we're going to do is drop in the Stone Slammer and the King on the top side. Now, the King's going on the top side, so that way it creates a nice funnel and we don't have to worry about that. Then we're gonna drop our champion from the bottom left. That way we can push on in. Now, of course, we're gonna use that lightning spell we have to actually negate the effect of the Inferno at times. So that way it doesn't pop everything. And now what we're gonna do is Warden effect. That way we can actually take out everything in the core right here with the Warden and the Super Dragons will have some time to rotate on over. Now, I do have an ace in the hole for our actual loons. I actually brought myself a nice little, what's it called? Loons in actually CC. So that way I can use haste spells to boost them around the base to pop things. So you're gonna see they're gonna split off now, pop that kind of stuff. And then we can use the Archer Queen to clean on up. Now he does still have an Inferno Tower left over, which I am gonna lightning of course that, that way it gets picked. And then I'm just gonna kind of chill. Now I do have my queen left over in her ability. So I'm gonna hold off from using that. I'm gonna use this haste spell to actually increase my loon speed. No, they got popped, they got popped. Oh my gosh, the other ones came in clutch. So they're like, Far away, they're definitely not gonna get it. And they just got like hit by every variable possible in a black air bomb. But still, they did a really good job. So what I'll actually do next is drop in my minions to actually clean on up with the help of the queen. And let's see if the queen can actually clutch it up last second, at least take out that scatter shot. She got it, but she got knocked down the process. But still, we got over 100, wait, not 100,000, over 900,000 gold, 800,000 elixir, and over 6,000 dark elixir, almost 7,000. So this attack strategy is honestly insane. I wanna go back to base now. After we finish that attack, I just got a challenge complete called Firefighter. Destroy 5,000 Inferno Towers in multiplayer battles and 1,000 gems. That's really good. That's really good. I'm actually surprised I even completed that challenge. 
Honestly, I can't believe after we got that attack down and we just got a thousand gems. That's honestly insane. So that's a huge plus out of this attack strategy and also for me as a daily video. So I got my hook for the video. So that's cool. But uh, yeah, that is, of course, the Zap Dragon or let me rephrase that Super Zap Dragon attack strategy. Of course, this attack strategy will be linked down below if you want to use it for yourself. Highly recommend. And if you did enjoy this video today, make sure to smash the like button. Get subscribed so you don't miss any more of our Clash of Clans content. And don't forget to check us on Twitch because we do stream there course every monday wednesday friday that building now below to our twitch channel until then i'll see you guys for our clash of clans video g-man out